Hello everyone, my name is Long Klee with HomeSmart today. I would like to share with you three most appealing projects that when the three most appealing upgrade projects that the buyers when that the buyers when they look at the upgrade they gonna wow this is awesome and, and, and they wanna buy the house a little bit faster, right? Let's take a look at the list. So the first thing the first thing on the list is a complete kitchen renovation. Now we're talking about about $68,000 of money that you have to spend. Um, so that is not that is not a small number, but let's look at the benefit, right? You uh, when you thinking about selling it about $40,000 that you are going to get back from from the money that you spend, right? That is a 59% return on investment. This project we're talking about, like completely remodel the floor plan, change the floor plan, changing the plumbing system, uh, replacing the entire cabinet, uh, uh, putting new awesome kitchen uh, uh, appliance, um, and, and and you spend sixty eight thousand dollars. Okay, now here's a note. $68,000 is an average across the country, right? That's gonna different depend on where you are and your local realtor should be able to give you a rough, a better estimate. This is number only give you uh, kind of an idea when you compare between project and projects, right? So it's, it's I'm not saying that that doesn't a number for everywhere uh, across the country, but those are the estimates. Uh, and you should ask your local realtor, like me, if you are in Arizona, uh, to, to find out what the cost is for you to, to do everything, right? Um, so again, 10%, 10% of seller actually, when they finish the complete kitchen re renovation, they actually think that it helps them selling the house a little bit faster. Uh, so that's 10%. When they don't want to sell the house, so here's a note, when they don't want to sell the house, they just want to do it because they want to enjoy the home a little bit more because it is already old, 10 out of 10, they really love, they really love, the owner really loves to have a fully upgraded kitchen, right? So that is a benefit to you. If you are the owner and you're thinking about, hey, what should I do? Either way, gonna give you a great benefit, right? Enjoyment or resell the house, right? The second, now, the first option come with uh, the very high price, right? The second option on the list is actually a little bit easier. The second option, here you go. Do a minor kitchen upgrade. We talk about ref ref finish the surface of the cabinet, perhaps maybe replacing the kitchen granite, uh, uh, kitchen countertop, putting a, 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 a um, stainless steel appliance. Those are the things, replacing the fixture of the cabinet. Those are the things like minor, consider minor, right? Now the cost is $38,000. So it's, it's $30,000 less than the first option that you have. The return on investment are very, is very similar at 52%. You're gonna get about $20,000 back when spending $38,000. So 52% is very similar to the first option, right? It is, it's gonna actually way better because you don't have to spend a lot of money. Right? You don't have to spend a lot of money and you get the very similar return on investment, right? And 20% of the owner doing a minor kitchen upgrade actually think that the house is sold faster uh, because because of those work because of those projects, right? And talking about you know, level of enjoyment is very similar as well. Nine point seven percent, uh, nine point seven out of ten. So as you think it, uh, think about it. If you only do a minor upgrade, it's already perfect for you to resell and for the level of enjoyment. So. You should consider that, and again, I'm not gonna say that you should not do a, re a completely remodel kitchen because who knows, right? Because maybe it has a, a worst floor plan ever kitchen that you don't even enjoy it, then you should definitely do it. Um, uh, and and in this, in this one, I'm just saying that if you don't have a lot of budgets, perhaps doing a minor upgrade can give you also the same level of enjoyment, uh, the same level of benefit maybe sometime even better. Uh, the third option that you can do, here you go. This is way much cheaper options than the first two. It is the replacement of your HVAC system. 
we're talking about on average the cost is eighty two hundred dollars. You actually get about seven thousand dollars back return on investment. That is eighty five percent return on investment. Here you go. You spend less money, but you are able to recoup it more when you resell it, right? And actually, seven percent of people thinking that doing a HVAC replacement helps them sell the house faster, right? So if you don't have a lot of money to spend on a kitchen remodel, perhaps you can do an HVAC system. Now, of course, if there's nothing wrong with that. Don't do it. I mean, I mean, if there's something significantly wrong, then spend the money. Spend HVAC system is is important nowadays. With the weather is very weird, very funky everywhere in the countries. So a new HVAC system is is gonna greatly benefit not only the buyer but also for you as an owner. And you don't have to worry about getting stuck. For example, in Arizona, getting stuck in in the weather, 120 F. We are going to that soon in four months, um, so you don't have to worry about those situation. Okay. So my name is Longley. Today I am sharing with you. I am I'm sharing with you three top most uh, three top appealing projects that the buyers, when they look at that, they very excited about them. Um, about about those projects. First of all, a complete kitchen renovation. Second, minor kitchen renovation and an HVAC replacement. Thank you so much, everyone. My name is Longley with Home Smarts. Bye bye.